Hi sir, how are you today? <laughs> yeah, I am always fine. Tell me, <laughs> what about you? So you know, uh, some days back a case came which was actually very perplexing. This was like forty-year-old male presenting with chest pain, and uh, and immediately, and he had sweating also. Immediately, he was sent to the hospital. Now at the hospital, there were two things which I got confused with. What they wrote, broad dead or dead on arrival. What's the difference, sir? That is there only. See, broad dead means doctor examine hmm. the person hmm. who is brought to the hospital. Is dead. Hmm. That is broad dead. Means, hmm. Hmm. say for example, this is the emergency room. This is the what do you call door. Hmm. Right from the door till doctor examine before entering into door only is dead. Hmm. That is broad dead. Okay. Dead door arrival means even inside the door also he is alive <laughs> okay. and he is lying on the bed. Doctor examine maybe within five seconds or ten seconds or whatever it is he is no more. Hmm. That is dead. On arrival. But what is the difference in implications in these two? Uh, like medical legally, there is no implications. No implications. No, because the, both the cases, hmm. we don't know the cause of death. Hmm. As per the rule, if a person dies of natural causes, hmm. then only we can issue death certificate. Hmm. That too. He has to die in our presence. Hmm. If he dies of natural disease at home, and if the party comes and tells the doctor that he died of MI, how to believe? We can't believe. Hmm. So now, we could not diagnose why did he die, hmm. Hmm. whether it is dead on arrival or brought dead. We don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Once we don't know, we are not sure whether it is natural death or not. Our duty is to inform the police. Okay. We inform the police. Hmm. 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 Was informed the police. See, strictly speaking, it is up to the police to decide whether post mortem is required or not. Not the doctor. No. Oh. But hmm. definitely, police how they come to know about the cause of death. Generally, even they don't want to take risk. Mm -hmm. So in such cases, they do inquest hmm. and they ask us in the sense forensic expert or in the uh, for the forensic doctors to do an autopsy hmm. where you do autopsy and we give the opinion about the cause of death hmm. okay it's like that mm -hmm. so that means uh, you will send the viscera to the pathology department also no 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 not like that you are talking about this particular case yeah yeah, oh, yeah. this particular case see Particular case, what uh, history? We take history from the party. His huh. wife may say that he has sweating. Huh, huh. Say, for example, time elapsed is only half an hour. Huh, huh, huh. Okay. Now, I may suspect some homicidal also. Hmm. Why Polly must have killed him? Who knows? Hmm. Wife hmm. may be having some extramarital affair. <laughs> we don't know. Hmm. And even if his wife is having extramarital affair, do you think she will come and tell me, Doctor, I'm having extramarital affair? She will not tell. <laughs> we are not bothered about all such things. We want to do postmortem examination and we give the mm. cause of death. Mm. So first I want to rule out mm. any external injuries on the body. Mm. I open the dress mm. of the dead body. Mm. I examine detail mm. from what text to heal. At the same time, I look for some concealed punctured wounds. Mm. Sometimes there may be concealed punctured wounds. Somebody must have injected. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. If nothing is there, then we open the dead body. Right from brain till everything, all three major body cavities has to be opened. Then we open. Then we see absolutely no findings. Then as per history, it is a mind as per history. Now, time elapsed is only half an hour. Mm. Even with my knowledge, I know around up to four hours, there will mm. be no histological changes in the my body. Hmm. Now, sometimes what happens, no? The forensic doctor himself will cut open and look for the block in the left coronary artery, right coronary artery, LAD or PT. But strictly speaking, best is to send the whole heart. Hmm. You detach the heart from the attachment, he cut down all the vessels. Hmm. As it is, put in 10% formalin. Send it to 
pathologist. Absolutely. Because mm-hmm. what we do, cut open and see the percentage of blockage, pathologist also can do. Unless pathologist is not incompetent. No, sir, not like that. That's not the case. You have to send the complete heart only. Reason for that is... No, that's what I said. No, yeah. I said, yeah. I said, I'm sending the complete heart. Okay. Okay. You have to tell that who does not send the complete heart. Okay, I'll tell not to, to me. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to tell to everybody. I told you clearly. You have to send the complete heart always. You know why? Because... Yeah, that's it. I told that already. I will send the whole heart now. Okay, now everybody knows. Okay. Ah, okay, we have to send the whole heart. Okay. Ah, okay Do not you. open it. Okay? okay. It's for the pathologist to open it. Okay, guys. Why? Uh, the reason for that is the uh, the way of opening of the heart is different for different conditions. And usually, we should inject the formalin, uh, formalin in the coronary vessels so that it gets fixed. Okay. And then only you will be able to identify the blocks in a better way. Okay. Also, uh, you know, in cases of um, infarcts, okay, so first place where infarcts occur is usually subendocardial infarcts. So, in such cases, we should do bre- uh, bread loafing of the heart. This is called bread loafing. What is this? Like the way you cut the bread, right? So, section by section by section by section. Distance so, minimum 2 uh, millimeter. Yeah, 2 millimeters. Uh, usually, you keep the distance 2 millimeters so that you don't miss any minor infarcts also, okay? Yeah. So that's that's uh, that's the protocol. Basically, you should do bread loafing. You should inject the coronaries with formalin, and then you can even follow the coronaries and you can do dissection if you want to really see where all it is going, where all it is supplying. So we have to gross it properly and fix it properly in the formalin. That's yeah. the prudent thing. Okay. Also, as sir said that because the time elapsed is only thirty minutes, so. Only electron microscopy can pick up the changes during this time. Okay, so but majority of the places in India don't have electron microscopy facility, and that's the reason we are not able to pick up the histological changes or electron microscopic findings, and we cannot detect it early. Okay, so majority of the light microscopic findings come after thirty minutes. Okay, minimum. to four. Yeah, minimum. 30 minutes that to 4 hours. Uh, electron microscopy. Before 30 minutes is electron, but 30 minutes to 4 hours, some histological appearances start to come. But not 100% evident. Not not evident, but we can use a stain. There is a special stain. Uh, sir, do you know about that stain? Tetrazoleum. <laughs> Tetrazoleum. Yeah, triphenyl tetrazoleum chloride. Okay, so sir is intelligent. Wow, sir. Okay. So this is called TTC stain. Uh, guys, do you know that every closed tissue, when the membranes are intact, have LDH enzyme inside. Okay. This is the main dye which we use. And you know, uh, the uh, so normally the cell membranes are intact and it has LDH inside it. So this dye goes inside the heart and you know, stain that LDH and gives a brick red color. That's the color that gets to the normal uh, live uh, cells. But suppose if the cell is dead, that is irreversible damage has occurred, what is going to happen is the membranes are going to get open and this enzyme LDH will leak out. So because this enzyme will leak out, so what is going to happen? So TTC will go inside, but there is no LDH now. So it will not stain anything. So that area will appear pale. Okay. Okay. So let me show you an image of it. Okay. So this is the section of the heart, just like I told you, bread loafing. Okay, so I hope everybody understood what I told. Bread loafing. Okay, that's, slicing the bread. Yes, slicing the bread. Right. So if you look at this, can you see this? This is a TTC stain. Okay, triphenyl tetrazoleum chloride. Okay, and if you look at this, this part is brick red in color. This is normal viable heart. But can everybody look at this part? Okay. So, this part of the heart is not stained. This TTC. Part, yes, TTC. That's TTC. the... TTC. That is better. Like JP. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. So, this part is not stained. So, that means this part is infarcted heart. So, I, I hope everybody can see this. Now, can you see these, sir? Uh, these glistening white areas. You know, what is this glistening white area? Glistening white, normally we say fibrosis or something yeah, like. Yeah, perfect. Whenever there's an old scars, okay. So, whenever there's an old scar, that gets glistening white area. So, if you, wherever we find that glistening white areas, we know that probably this patient has already got an infarct and it has undergone No, that is in the fibrosis. heart. It should be specific. Always we say in forensic, we should be specific. For yeah. example, you said uh, glistening white area. In the heart. For example, if a girl is fair like you and if you put Vaseline, it is glistening white. 
it does not mean that you are face is five post okay okay i'm sorry okay tell me continue continue please <laughs> yeah so glistening white hair in the heart yes yeah. sir that's perfect sir that's perfect so that's the gross finding in which we can identify the infarction okay whereas when we talk about the microscopy i told you that majority of the changes start appearing you know 30 minutes to 4 hours like that and it's also very subtle very subtle sir it's like waviness of the heart let me show so you that so in other also. words for a forensic expert it is easy for us if the person dies after 4 hours of sustaining the symptoms absolutely sir because the histological findings will be evident and we will be ab- absolutely able to tell you the exact time in that way so that will be better uh, so there may be one mcq also from the students yeah minimum time elapsed after symptoms of mi to recognize histological changes is Absolutely. 2 hours 3 yes. hours 4 hours 6 hours yes. answer is 4 hours 4 hours <laughs> <laughs> perfect sir uh, sir वैसे it should not be so close range because if you go yeah, by yeah. to robin's textbook of pathology it says 3 hours so three. so, so uh, what is the best answer then If you say three and four, because forensic <laughs> medicine we say four hours. Oh, Robin say three hours. Yeah. So three and four should not be the option. It should be three to four hours, <laughs> like that. Okay. So now look at the histological findings. If you look at the histological finding, the first finding is: Can you see this? This is the normal straight heart, but this fibers here have become little wavy. So this is called waviness of the fibers. Apart from that, you can see some fibers have started accumulating water. Okay. so this because here there is lysis of the myocardial cells and the water starts coming because you know after death the pump stop working sodium potassium atps pump so water starts coming in the cell cell starts swelling so this finding is called myocytolysis so these are the two earliest findings to come in the mi do you know sir there was an mcq uh, i think uh, in 2019 about myocytolysis when does no, my that is purely pathological ah uh, that's purely pathological so i'm going to tell you myocytolysis basically appears at after how much time of mi so remember it is always between 30 minutes to 4 hour it's one of the earliest findings that you should remember then after this has appeared the coagulative necrosis is going to come in 12 hours okay so this is the chart which all of you must have started in your robins so coagulative necrosis comes and then 24 hours neutrophils so it's easier to remember like this neutrophils come in 24 hours and is changed by macrophages on day 3 and granulation tissue appears on day 7 in the heart so this is very different from other places in the tissues you know other uh, local places wherever we get tissue injury so granulation tissue normally when you fall down when, when does it appear third day but in heart the granulation tissue takes time to form it takes about 7 days okay. that's a very distinct phenomena so that is why this is one of the favorite mcqs yes, of the examiner coagulative necrosis you said it starts at 12 hours hmm. how long it will be there coagulative yeah. necrosis yes so so once coagulative necrosis starts at 12 hours neutrophils is also a part of it so neutrophils will come and you know uh, come as a part of necrosis no, only i mean to say the heart wall Hmm. particular area becomes weak hmm. because of coagulative necrosis 12 to 24 hours you oh, 12 to 24 hours hmm. Hmm. then later changes is fibrosis no yeah yeah, yeah. so coagulative necrosis to fibrosis how much time it's two weeks okay two weeks yeah so that two weeks is a very dangerous area medically legally yeah you know why hmm. that time rupture of the heart may take place yeah yeah so for example i have a happy tip my friend comes i hit on the left side of the chest hello how are you <laughs> and if the person was under the stage of coagulative necrosis people like me without any vested interest hello how are you and hit on the chest immediately heart may rupture and he may die of cardiac tamponade hmm. do you think i am punishable for murder in such case i don't know sir you have to tell true. me medically <laughs> no student may think oh gp sir will be punished under section 302 of ipc murder no because i never had an intention of killing the person so but at the same time i can be booked under rash and negligent act but rash and negligent act ever i never knew about the status of the heart if a rash and negligent act resulting in death of a person cannot go ye but here if i am the police i would have booked it. means me only if i am the police i would have booked so called that dr jp under Not for IPC, that is culpable homicide, not amounting to murder. Okay, thank you. Okay, 
right so uh, let's look at this image can you look at this sir so what do you think is it lo these lobed cells sir any idea about something about pathology what are these lobed cells <laughs> so these all lobed cells which infiltrates in the heart is neutrophil sir okay. so that means that is about 24 hours have passed okay now can you see these lot so of so that may be also ask as mcq regarding yeah. lobed cells so that i think students already know lobed cells are neutrophils no 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 no, no? time okay yeah when time is seen. yes yes definitely time is definitely a mcq which is asked yeah. perfect sir and it is replaced by macrophages on day 3 but granulation tissue will appear only on day 7 so what is granulation tissue by the way granulation tissue is nothing but implant yeah Healing. it has proliferating vessels sir inflammatory cells and extracellular matrix when these three come together it's called granulation tissue so you see lot of proliferating cells mononuclear cells yeah. and extracellular matrix so can you see here a lot of proliferating vessels so that's very very classical of granulation tissue in the heart which comes by seventh day now apart from that as just now sir told you know the fibrosis the collagen deposition starts in the heart by 2 weeks and it is complete by 2 months so you know we use a special stain i hope everybody of you know that for collagen what is the stain called masin trichrome okay so this stain gives blue color to the collagen so if you put this whole of the cardiac muscle can you see it is blue in color that means the fibrosis the collagen deposition has started so yeah. fibrotic area does not it does not have any function at all yeah it it becomes infunctional definitely sir it, this is tissue will not work and these are the areas which will appear as glistening white when you will put ttc stain okay okay so that's the histological changes of heart guys which all of you should know sir but uh, let's say this is the case which we talked and he came under 30 uh, minutes there were no changes no histological changes in the heart but when we uh, dissected the coronaries we found that uh, 90% of the lad was blocked yeah. so how uh, we are going to but there was no histological changes so we gave the report to the forensic people that lad shows more than 90% blockage but uh, there is no evidence of histological finding in the uh, myocardium so okay. that means you also not sure about the cause of death am i you can't say but only you are finding is 90% hmm. block yes sir see here in our case what happens is if you say opinion cannot be given then it will be problem to the police police cannot close the file at the same time we want to the favor the party also in the sense in a good sense under good faith history everything we take okay sweating getting all such things chest pain relationship everything was good with the husband with the neighbors or wife or anybody 90% block is there hmm. then what i give is in such cases post mortem findings and histopathological examination findings are consistent with the history of death due to myocardial infarction okay mm -hmm. consistent with hmm. it is like uh, not directly we are telling it is mi and you are not ruling out that it does not die of mm. mi 99% he died of mi mm -hmm. at the same time as you said you give your opinion as uh, even myocardium also histological changes are there this is died due to myocardial infarction mm. straight forward mm. finished number 2 number 3 no histological changes coronaries no block hmm. maybe 30 40% block 30 40% hmm. block hmm. anybody will have you and i may be having uh, maybe 90 also i don't know hmm. certainly <laughs> then 100% negative autopsy opinion as to the cause of death cannot be given hmm. that is my opinion hmm. about 2 to 5% of all the cases hmm. post mortem hmm. they are negative autopsy hmm. you understood yeah so three types of opinion can be given okay okay understood okay so thank you sir you gave me so much insight about you know medical legal thing uh, only thing is uh, what we pathologists keep on doing is fighting with the forensic people why did you cut the specimen wrong and send it to us <laughs> so uh, so that's the first and the then last I, then i think in future i have to cut and send because always <laughs> i like fighting <laughs> <laughs> no no we should not fight sir uh, no fighting just time pass <laughs> that's it
Thank you so much, sir, for okay. teaching us so much. And um, thank you so much, guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.